Hello and welcome, this is World of Wastewater. You're watching part 5 of this series going over a wastewater exam, which you can find a link to in the description. If you're following along, these questions are numbers 21 through 25. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wastewater is a form of alchemy that sits at the intersection of chaos, art, and science. If you believe this to be true as well, then hit like and subscribe. And if you have been finding my videos helpful, I have a link to my PayPal in the description as well, and any donations help keep this channel alive. With my shameless begging out of the way, let's get started. For a trickling filter, organic loading is typically expressed as A. Pounds of BOD per day B. Pounds of BOD C. Pounds of BOD per day per 1,000 square feet D. Pound of BOD per day per 1,000 cubic feet The answer is D, pounds of BOD per day per 1,000 cubic feet. The equation for this is given to us for the exam, which has the units on it. You may find questions similar to this one on your exam. It is always a good idea to look at the formula sheet before attempting to guess. What is the minimum detention time for a chlorine contact chamber? A, 15 minutes, B, 30 minutes, C, 60 minutes, D, 90 minutes. The answer is B, 30 minutes. This is a rule of thumb, and the definition on the screen is directly taken from the Sacramento State College textbook, Operation of Wastewater Treatment Plants. However, as you may know, what is taught in textbooks doesn't always apply to every situation or treatment plant. It's important to understand that chlorine contact time is influenced by a number of factors such as pH, temperature, and nitrites. In a centrifugal pump, internal leakage is prevented by A, impellers, B. Volutes C. Sleeves D. Wear rings The answer is D. Wear rings. Besides protecting the impeller and pump casing, a very important part of wear rings is to improve pump efficiency. Naturally, in a centrifugal pump, water from the high-pressure discharge side will want to flow back to the low-pressure intake side. The wear ring helps prevent water from flowing back that way. If you notice a pump not performing as well as it used to, and there is no other obvious issue, be sure to check the wear ring, as they will degrade over time and must be replaced. If you're replacing a wear ring, be sure to check the maintenance manual of the pump model you are using, as you must replace it with a specific size in accordance with that model. How is a sour digester corrected? A. Add chlorine B. Add water C. Add lime D. Add sulfur The answer is C. Add lime. One of the most important factors when operating a digester is watching the volatile acid to alkalinity ratio. In other words, this is monitoring the buffering capacity, which represents the ability of a digester to neutralize the acids formed during the digestion process. Meaning, you will see a change in the volatile acid to alkalinity ratio before you see a change in the pH. Adding lime increases the alkalinity, aka buffering capacity, within the digester which will help keep your pH stable. I encourage you to learn more about digesters because they are really neat and an important process, and there will certainly be other questions regarding them on your exam. Wastewater entering a treatment plant is typically A. Somewhat warmer than unheated tap water B. The same temperature as unheated tap water C. Somewhat cooler than unheated tap water D. Very much cooler than unheated tap water The answer is A, somewhat warmer than unheated tap water. This is simply because a lot of water that is used by the public is usually on the warmer side when it goes down the drain and to your treatment facility. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then check out my others on this channel. If you want to help me make more great content for operators, I have a link to my PayPal in the description. See you next time on World of Wastewater. Thank you.